Good morning, everyone. My name is Jenny, and welcome to the Split Seed, where the moment is right now. And today, we're on our way to an estate sale that's actually a road trip about an hour away outside of the town where I live. Uh, it is 7 a.m. The estate sale starts at 8, and I need to get coffee first, so let's get going. Also, do you see this behind me? That birdcage? I picked that up at a thrift store recently and want to do a DIY with it, like maybe one of those lampshades with like birds or butterflies or something cool. So stay tuned for that at some point in the future. Hashtag thrift flip. I don't know why I did that. It's been a long time since I came around. I come to pull out one of the Taking grandpa style, no for real. Ask your grandpa, can I have his hand me down? You're from the 70s, but I'm a 90s bitch. I love it. <coughs> the name on every book. And I'm not cool, and I'm not smart, and I can't even parallel park. All right, I just pulled in and it looks like there's only about 10 cars here so far. It is, what time is it? 8.23, so uh, the sale's been going for about 20 minutes so far. And from what I saw on the listing online, it looks like there are vintage clothes, a lot of kitchen stuff, home decor, fabric, maybe craft stuff. Um, that's gonna be the things that I'm mostly interested in. I'm gonna not film too terribly much in there just because it is someone's home and I wanna be respectful of people's spaces, but I will try and show you as much as I can. So let's see what we can find. Right when you walked in, there were all of these really amazing looking herbs and spices, all dried things, dried apples, art prints. I really liked these bird ones. And then look at this little plate. It's like this 3D little plate with a deer. And then I saw these placemats. They're actually linen placemats with a really pretty pattern. And you would not believe all of the vintage clothes. Everything hanging here were vintage dresses and suits and shirts and slips. In particular, I thought these three dresses were beautiful. Look at the ruffle on this one. It's a really pretty pink color. And then this one also has really pretty lace sleeves. And if you look close, you can see tiny little heart details on it. I thought it was just so pretty, very cottage core, royal core princess. And then this red one, oh my gosh, it would be perfect for a Ren fair. Look at the puff sleeve. I had no reason to buy those, but I loved them. Oh my gosh, you guys, somebody just commented me. No, not commented. Somebody just complimented me on my outfit. That was really sweet. Oh, I'm out of breath from walking up the stairs. Then I found these little flower-shaped onyx boxes that were only $6 each, and both of them had a pretty bad chip in them, so I didn't get one, but I thought they were very cool. And this is actually a similar material. This little chandelier wind chime is also some sort of onyx stone. They had a lot of brass things, yet another onyx piece that you may see again later. And then these amazing pottery dish sets were so, so pretty. I wish I had the space to bring one home. And then I've seen individual pieces of this pattern and this stoneware before, but never this big of a complete set. Here's a little outfit of the day. Camo shirt, my angel bag, checkered pants, sandals. These were the dining room chairs of my dreams. I thought the colors and the pattern were so pretty on this upholstery, and it was 12 chairs. So amazing. And can we talk about this couch? It was massive. It was green. It was velvet. It was the best thing I've ever seen in my entire life. And then I also really, really loved this pink glassware set. Just look at the way the light catches that pattern. I have no reason to own these, but I love them. Oh, pink hat, hello. <laughs> this was a really cute shirt, uh, just a simple t-shirt, grassroots brand. I thought this shirt was pretty neat. It's giving clown core 
I thought, country clown. And then up on the ceiling, they had so many fur coats hanging. They just had so many things. And then this entire table of clothes to rummage through. This was one of my favorite things I found, actually, but unfortunately, they weren't in my size. This really cool pair of vintage bloomers. And finally, this sweater that was so cute, but you can see it had some orange stains on it, but those butterflies were so cute. Okay, so I've gotten all my things, I'm back in the car, and oh my gosh, that place was amazing. Such a gorgeous house, so many beautiful things. It's a good thing that I left that estate sale when I did because I had to pee really bad and then I couldn't find a bathroom. What? Okay, it's been a few days and I've washed everything, so I'm ready to show you what I found at the estate sale. I'm gonna start with home goods because I got about the same amount of homewares as I did clothing. So we'll start with home stuff. And the first thing uh, is one of the most impressive looking in my opinion, and it is this. It is an onyx candelabra candle holder. So if you look closer, you can see the beautiful texture and color, and then the base of it is this leaf shape. Um, I think there's a cat hair on it. Yeah, I was super excited to find this. Um, I'll tell you pricing of everything too, because I think I got great deals at this estate sale. Um, the people running it were super nice. So this was listed for $28 at the sale. They gave it to me for 20. The next thing I'm gonna show you is maybe not the most exciting thing in the world, but I'm pretty excited about it. And it is just a variety of vintage taper candles. So this is just a box that I put them all in. Um, and the box is pretty cool on its own. But if you open it, I just put a lot of different individual candles that I found in here. I have this little bag full of small tapers that you can see they have like string wicks to them and then there are three different shades of green spiral taper candles and then four long light green color ones that aren't quite so spirally but they still have a little bit of texture to them and then i got this little set of like pastel multicolored candles it's really really pretty color variant um, and you can see that these are already semi-burned, most of them. And I actually really like the look of that. Um, you can kind of see the different color gradients that are on these. So I was happy about these. These are super pretty. We're almost done with candles, I promise. And last for candles, I got this entire box of like short but fat candles in all different colors. There's like the cream, there's some orange colors, there's a really nice purpley brown, and then some of this sort of berry tone. And for all the candles, the people running it priced it just all as one. So for all those candles I just showed you, I got all of them for $6. And that's a lot of tapers for $6. Oh no, I forgot one. This one. There's only one. I was sad I couldn't find the match, um, but it's just such pretty jewel toned colors. The next thing is this little set of a skunk family. So you can see they're kind of like, they go big to small. And then there's this little baby one too. Uh, so a little ceramic, or I think it's porcelain actually, technically not ceramic, but a little skunk family that's really cute to put on a shelf or something like that. And then another little porcelain piece that I found is this little frog. Maybe if you can see him, there you go. He has the cutest little face. I love his little smile and he's really tiny. Um, so him and the skunks, I don't even think they charged me for those. I think they just kind of threw them in. So I got those for free, I guess. Then I did find one wall art piece that I really, really like, and it is this one. It is titled Winter Wren. It looks like the artist signature is R. Dorman. So I don't know where the print came from, but the artist is R. Dorman. And again, they didn't write this piece on the receipt that they gave me. So I basically kind of got it for free and I'm excited to hang it up. So those were all the homewares things I found. And next I'm gonna transition into sort of the wearable side and show you a few jewelry pieces that I found. And I'm super excited about these because lately I have been loving anything that really leans 
super natural and organic in shape. Um, so I'm talking about jewelry with natural rocks and stones and gemstones, not like cut diamonds, but much more rustic and raw than that. So I'll show you what I mean with these pieces that I found. So the first one is this string of really beautiful bluish green, like sea green little stones. I love the color of these, they're so pretty. And you can see it's a pretty long strand of these stone beads. When I put it on, it comes pretty far down uh, on my front. When I bought it, I also had in mind that I could take it apart and use the stone beads to make something else, but I've never been that big into jewelry making so far, so we'll see what I do with this. Next is this necklace. It's similar to the one I just showed you, except this one is gradients of brownish colors. This one, when you put it on, hits a lot higher up on the neck. You can see the little earrings that come with this one too, and they're very cute. And then finally, I have one more set, but I've saved the best jewelry piece for last. I love this one. The last piece is this necklace that has these really beautiful, larger cream colored stones. Still some smaller stone beads and regular beads, but the color variation in the bigger rocks is just so beautiful. And then I love the way it ends with this two-pronged stone at the end. It just looks so pretty laying against the body and the way that it sits on your collarbone and things like that. Here are the stone earrings that come with that necklace. And I think this is just such a fun and unique set. Pricing on the jewelry, they bundled that as well, just like they did with the candles. So for the three necklaces and two earrings, I got all of those for only $14. Lastly, for clothes, I have all of the clothing pieces that I found at the estate sale hanging up here behind me. There are five, no, six pieces that I'm gonna show you. So let's get started on the clothing. First up, we have this super cute sweater vest. I love the color palette of this, and I love the cut of it too. A lot of times for me, when I find vests or sweater vests, they are too long or not form-fitting enough, and they just don't fit me the way that I want them to fit on my body. So when I found this one, I was really, really happy with just, again, the shape and the cut of it. And I'll bring you in so you can see the beautiful color palette. It does have a V-neck. And the brand of this is PC Knitwear. I'm excited to style this in the fall with a turtleneck. I think it'd be really cool to do it with like a contrasting pattern turtleneck. So yeah, this is an amazing find. Okay, the next clothing piece is a little bit iffy just because I haven't tried anything on yet. So you're gonna find out along with me whether or not this fits my hips, but it is this really cute pair of vintage boxer shorts. Uh, it has an elastic waistband. I don't know the brand, it doesn't have a brand tag, but it does have a made in USA paper tag. So that is something we love to see. And I'll show you the pattern of these is really cute. It's this bottle cap pattern. So there's like a little Dr. Pepper and a root beer. I think that the material is really nice and breathable. It looks like it won't be really see-through either when I put it on. So I just really hope that they fit me. <laughs> I'm realizing now that the majority of the clothing I picked up at the sale leans more cool weather. So I'm not gonna be able to wear these for a while, but I just, I'm not a summer, fashion person. I find it so much harder to put together outfits that look cute, that don't make me super hot in the summer. So we're just planning for the future with these next few pieces. I loved this sort of buttery, creamy, yellow colored corduroy button up shirt. I love how thick the corduroy is on this. You can just tell it's really high quality. It's not that cheap sort of thin corduroy that comes with a lot of fast fashion these days. And I just love the color of it. You can see it has uh, little buttons on the cuff, which is really cute. And the brand, I don't know the brand of this either. Actually, there's absolutely no tags in it at all. 
And then again, sticking with the cooler weather theme here, I picked up another uh, warm weather top. This time it's a full sweater, but I just couldn't pass it up because I am really into sort of this 90s grungy sort of sweater look. I have a few that are sort of similar to this, but this material is really nice. It's that soft sweater material that's not itchy whatsoever. I love the green and blue combination uh, and I love an oversized fit too. So I think this is gonna be super cozy to wear with a pair of jeans or over a maxi skirt with boots. If anybody out there is like me and you are just a sucker for a vintage tag, the brand of this is Reclaim. Couldn't pass it up. It's a size large, main Korea. But yeah, I just, I really, really liked this sweater. The next one is something that I haven't been picking up that much. I know a lot of people are really into them right now, but I haven't found a way to wear a slip dress in a way that makes me feel really comfortable and like myself. But when I saw this one, I just had to have it because the color, have you like, when do you see a brown like this beautifully chocolatey rich of a brown with the lace on the sleeve in a slip set. You can see the lace trim all the way around the collar of the robe and down to the front. The robe does have these little tie closures. There's also lace on the sleeve of the robe portion. And then the slip itself has lace straps and also this really pretty lace going along the bodice of it too. I'm just really excited about this. I don't really know how I'm gonna wear it. Maybe I'll just end up wearing it around the house and it'll make me feel really special on a random Tuesday morning while I have my coffee, but I just, the co it's the color. The color combination of this is just too good. Oh, and then the brand, um, again, it doesn't have a brand. I guess a lot of these are brandless, so I'm sorry I can't share that with you. All right, we've made it to the last piece of this estate sale haul, and this might be my favorite of the entire day. Although I really do love that stone necklace that I showed you earlier. It's another sweater. The vibes of the sweater are too good. I feel like you could wear it both in fall and in spring. It works for both. It's making me think of Elizabeth Bennet on the cliffs in Pride and Prejudice. It's making me think of the wind in the willows, like I'm gonna go have tea at Toad Hall. I think of it as like a pastoral scene with these trees, a meadow and flowers. The pattern comes up onto the shoulders and is also the same on the back. The brand of this, this does have a brand, is Darlene, Angolon by Darlene. I'll show you the tag, but it is made in USA and it's 50% French Angora rabbit hair and 40% lamb's wool and 10% nylon. But even though it has the wool in it, it is not itchy at all, uh, which is obviously something to be worried about when you buy wool. And I just love this so much. I can't wait for the weather to get cooler so I can wear this on some delightful fall excursion. So my total for all clothing was $32 for all six of them. That's wild. That's wild, you guys. It's wild. And that is everything that I have for you today. Everything I found estate sailing. If you like thrifting and secondhand fashion and thrifted interiors and art, come watch another video if you want to. I don't know. As always, all hail Norm, and I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Okay, bye. <laughs>